Hey guys, it's Kachina's Variety. So today I want to talk about dogs. So right now I am dog sitting a pit bull mix and a Labrador retriever. <clears throat> they live together and they're, you know, very tight. Anyways, um, I want to talk about pit bulls in general. Now, um, the pit bull that I'm dog sitting, she's very sweet, but she has a lot of energy and she's very strong. She doesn't know her own strength, so I'm covered in bruises. Um, but with that being said, um, I'm going to talk about the pits that are unpredictable. Now, um, <clears throat> I looked up the advocacy, um, organization and they closed down. They've been closed since like 2018. I don't know why, but, um, they're called the National Pit Bull Awareness Organization. Um, their statistics are still up. Um, they advocated for more than 70 organizations in the U.S. and Canada combined. <clears throat> now, um, within the, now since they're, they're closing, um, I don't think there's any correlation, but there's been a lot of upticks in, uh, dog attacks and, um, pit bull maulings, um, I would say mostly from, like, um, owners not being, uh, careful and um uh taking the dog breed seriously um like all dogs you know all dogs have different personalities different um um mental states of mind we don't know um and what's happening is that um the dog owners will take the dog thinking like oh yeah they're you know just giant you know fluff ball or something like that and the dog breed has its you know traits <coughs> excuse me has its traits and uh sometimes it's unpredictable sometimes those traits are dormant um so um i will say this that um a lot of pet owners will say it's not the breed it's the um it's the owner I, I want to say it's 50-50. Um, I say 50% is the breed because the breed has different traits, different, you know, um, brain chemical makeups, and also it's the owner. The owner needs to be strong, and it needs to be confident, and the owner needs to know its dog, you know, very thoroughly. Um, <clears throat> The owner needs to be able to, you know, the own well, excuse me, but the owner is responsible for um, the dog's socialization and the dog's um, training. So if the dog is not well socialized with its, you know, neighborhood dogs or anything like that, that is the owner's fault. Um, and it, that's not the dog's fault. That's the owner. The owner is being absolutely overly cautious and not allowing the dog to live. Um, <clears throat> so I want to say that uh, um, that I had found several articles, at least close to 15 people have been attacked or mauled with since um, 2022 to 2024. Um, with the one recently being June of this month, um, a woman about 23, she was coming back from ber her birthday celebration and she was um, unalived by her own dog um, in the middle of the night. Now, I don't know if, I don't know what, you know, pit bull owners um, think about um, keeping their dogs in a crate when they leave the house, but uh, I I say it's a healthy it's a healthy thing, especially if you live in an apartment and you have like maintenance and things like that. <clears throat> you don't want people to be afraid to do their job, you know. Um, but yeah, um, what happened is. <coughs> I have a tickle in my throat, it, please excuse me. Um, so what happened is that this girl, um, her dog is XL Bully, massive pit bull. Um, she didn't stand a chance at all. Um, I don't know where the article is, but I will definitely um, 
upload it if I can find it. I just saw it in passing. Um, <clears throat> the dog was huge. Huge. I've never seen a dog so big in my life. And she, she couldn't, you know, she didn't stand a chance at all. Like, it, it was, it totally overpowered her. Um, I don't know what triggered the dog to unalive her. Maybe the dog thought that she was a stranger. I don't know. But I also don't know why she didn't keep that dog in a large crate um, while she was gone. Um, now, my from my experience as a um, dog sitter, the dogs that I sit, sometimes they use the bathroom within the house if I'm not there quick enough. And to prevent that, they stay in the crate until I can take them out. Um, it prevents me from cleaning up mess constantly in the house and it also keeps them uh, under control so that when they do need to use the bathroom, they go at the same time and they go outside. Um, so yeah, that, that was unfortunate and I can definitely say that a lot of the articles that I've seen from like 2024 or 2023 um, is that you know people were missing parts of their face um, infants are getting unalived and that's that hits home because I don't have any children and you know I would not let my dog near my child for the first three months <laughs> you know um but a pit bull, you know, mauling a, a, a child, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of, I've seen a lot of videos of um, parents letting their pit bull, you know, like lay next to their kids saying, oh, he's so gentle and loving and blah, blah, blah. That's nice. That's nice. But at the same time, you're playing Russian roulette because your dog can be nice and mellow for like several years and then snap out of nowhere you know what I mean um, so I I don't know I just think that it's a breed that needs to be more um, researched now according to where I live I live in New Jersey now New Jersey has a law called the potentially dangerous dog act now that entitles um, different municipalities and townships to ban the pit bull or any bully dog that is potentially dangerous. Um, so I, I do recommend any pit bull owner that plans on moving somewhere to make sure that when they move to that town that that town allows pit bulls because it, if they don't allow pit bulls you're you know you're out of luck there. Um, now, the pit bull is banned in several countries throughout the world. <laughs> um, Turkey, Germany, Israel, New Zealand. Um, I believe they're banned in Puerto Rico. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of islands don't allow pits, period. Um, the UK has its bans as well. Um, around the country, the, around the US, excuse me, around the U.S., um, a lot of cities in Illinois banned the um, pit bull. Washington State, many cities in Washington State, uh, Florida, and um, several others. Um, so there's, there's something behind that, you know what I mean? Like, if so many people are banning it, it's because things have happened and that the owners are not responsible enough to take care of such a powerful dog. You know, um, <clears throat> now it, back to my state, New Jersey, we are overwhelmed with pit bulls. Overwhelmed in shelters with pit bulls. Um, it's to the point where 
um, rescues don't know what to do with them because we are we have so many and what's happening is that people are buying pit bulls and you know they're cute and everything at first you know it's it's almost like um an image thing and then you realize okay this dog is overpowering me this dog is very strong i almost got a concussion <laughs> from my relative's pit bull because the dog went to go lick my face and it like headbutt me. <laughs> um, but I know that was not an intentional thing. Um, but just saying, you know, these dogs are very strong, very powerful. And a lot of people that, you know, decide to own that breed often get tired and they don't know what else to do. So they give it away. And, and often it's, it's the end all right there because these dogs have nowhere to go and people are still buying puppies. You know what I mean? We have shelters throughout the state full of pit bulls and here, you know, people are buying puppies. Anyways, um, that's just my take on the pit bull situation. Um, I think that all dogs are you know are great you know and then especially each dog breed you know helps you know with each dog breed matches to a human's personality you know what I mean like there are people who own pets I've seen on YouTube and I love them you know they know their dogs they are in charge of their dogs and they're confident with their dogs and they know their dog's personalities and everything like that. That's that's like A plus dog owner right there. But for every great pit bull dog owner, there's pit bull dog owners that I would not trust and I can tell they're not confident at all with handling the breed. Um, but yeah, on that note, um, leave your comments down below give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.